question 92 from the Geometry CST release test questions. Line segment QS is a diameter of the circle below. Line segment QS is a diameter of the circle below. And line segment QS is perpendicular to PR. Line segment QS is perpendicular to line segment PR. And we have our little box there that tells us that that's 90 degrees. Uh, so this gives us some useful information. They want us to find uh, if they they tell us if the measure of PQR arc PQR is 106 degrees. What is the measure of arc PS? So we have to figure out what the measure of that arc is. So let's start writing down some useful information. First of all, we have uh, QS is a diameter of a circle, and PR is a chord. Uh, there's a theorem that states that if a radius or a diameter of a circle is perpendicular to a chord of the circle, then it actually bisects that chord into two congruent segments. So then we know that um, this part of this part is congruent to this part. We also know that this line segment is congruent to itself, and there's 90 degree angles here as well. So then that means that uh, this triangle here, which we should probably start labeling some points to make it easier, is congruent to this triangle here. So if they're congruent, then this angle must be congruent to that angle. So let's start labeling it. We have PQRS. We'll label this intersection point T. So this point right there is point T. Uh, and we'll label the center of the circle U, uh, just to help us out with some of this. Okay, so uh, try, then we know that uh, angle PUT is congruent to angle TUR. So I'll put some arc marks in there. PUT is congruent to angle uh, TUR, which means that they're exactly half of our 106 degrees that they tell us down here. So if that's the case, then we have half of 106 equals 53 degrees. So the measure of this angle here is 106 degrees. Uh, I apologize. That is not correct the measure of that angle there is half of 106 degrees, which is 53 degrees, okay? But if you notice, we also have a diameter here. So that's the same as the straight angle, having 180 degrees. So then that means that this angle PUS, this angle right here, must be the supplement to 53 degrees. So if I take 180 and I subtract the 53 degrees from it, I should get the me measure of angle PUS. So I get uh, 27 degrees for the measure of angle, I'm sorry, 127 degrees for the measure of angle PUS. And we know that the measure of the angle whose center lies at the center of the circle, uh, whose vertex lies at the center of the circle, is equal to the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So it intercepts this arc PS, which is what they're asking us for. So then arc PS must also be 127 degrees. And that leads us to answer D.